you think you know who God is because maybe, you know, you come on Sunday and you listen to what your pastor has to say. Maybe you do some quick devotionals, but when you actually read the Bible in its entirety and see the way it's all woven together into this amazing story of God restoring humanity, it's like, wow. My name is Julianne Thomas. About two years ago, I was in a Bible study with a youth pastor, a worship leader, and a women's Bible study leader, which honestly sounds like a start of a bad joke, but it was my reality. So when they said, we are reading through the Bible, I said, okay, because I felt like I had no choice. But I ended up being really excited about the whole process of doing this. Um, it did feel a little overwhelming at first. Uh, the idea of having to read a few chapters of the Bible every single day, followed by a five to seven minute podcast. I have three young children, so it just didn't seem possible to make the time for it. But I also felt that it was important for me to commit to something like this. After I did complete the Bible recap, I did learn some new things. Um, the first one being that Ruth has her own book of the Bible. Uh, that was something I missed in Sunday school. David, the giant slayer, is also King David, which makes total sense. The third thing is Revelation is a lot less intimidating when you read the first 65 books of the Bible that come before it. So that was... That was good. <laughs> so when I first started reading the Bible, it didn't start off super well. Um, my husband and I ended up getting COVID and due to some really unforeseen circumstances, we, had, we couldn't be in our home and had to live pretty far from our community. This led to our children also getting COVID and it, it was just a really hard time. And I remember, standing, watching my kids play, because even when children are sick, they still have a like, never-ending source of energy. It's really amazing. And I remember watching them play by a river and just feeling like really alone and defeated and just sad that this was happening. And I had to do my Bible time. So I pulled out my phone and just did it on the app. And I look and we were starting Job. And Job is the ultimate sufferer. Like he experienced everything getting taken away from him. But through that all, he told God his sadness. He brought the, his sadness to God. He brought his frustrations and God saw him in that. And I realized that God loves me even when I feel distant from him and he wants me to bring my anger, my frustration and my sadness to him because he can give me comfort in that moment. So that was incredibly cool to get to read that whole story while I was quarantined away from all of my family and friends, having God just wrap his arms around me through such a hard book of the Bible was incredible. The biggest takeaway for me with reading the Bible is just how little I knew who God was before and how the Bible was not about me and finding how I can make my life comfortable, but it's about God and how He is keeping His promise to restore a very broken world. It's a place for us to find comfort in knowing that He is sovereign over our lives whether it's good or bad moments. And I truly believe that every person who says they're a believer should be reading the Bible on a daily basis. And they will learn so much and they'll fall in love with God. <laughs>